I'm Spider-Man. All cops are bastards. Ah! What is going on, Chaotic Cryptids? I'm back, baby, and welcome to another video on the Dead Trooper Comfort Channel for my uh, Halloween horror spooky celebration month. I got my fucking cramp shirt on. Let's do this uh, for this second installment. I was very excited to do the first one. I, um, I've been wanting to do a collaboration like that for quite some time, and so the fact that I finally got to do it with uh, two of my biggest, like, inspiration channels was just fucking amazing thank you to jay and autumn for uh being there and talking with me that was super fun for this video i'm gonna sort of walk you through my experience in making diy halloween costumes and show you some of my own uh some of these are more cosplay oriented but hey you might be looking for that too and hey you can be really anything for halloween you know it really doesn't fucking matter most people wear their cosplays anyways um so let's get to it. I really started making my own Halloween costumes, I'd say in full fledged around last year. And uh, it's different from DIY clothes in certain ways. So I'll sort of go over those. And so I'm gonna start by showing you sort of what I made. Uh, this first one is from last year. Like I said, if you remember my Halloween videos from last year, I was Sweeney Todd. And really the centerpiece of my costume was this. So basically, the shirt, uh, I bought this poet shirt online. I believe it was about $12 or so. And uh, which is not, I'd say that bad as far as like costume pieces are concerned. I'm still trying to keep the costume obviously cheap. This is really like the one thing that I don't think I could have made myself. I'm, I'm sure it was some uh, work I could have, but I didn't really have the time. And besides, this is just a really cool, just piece of, of costume and it was a pretty fair price I'd say uh, compared to some others that I've seen uh, and then the part that I did DIY for that costume was this this is it was a ladies leather jacket that I found at a thrift store and basically what I did is that I just cut the sleeves off and uh, if you can see it has this sort of like I guess marching band decoration along the front. It looks pretty Victorian, I'd say. And so basically, I uh, if, it zip, if I zip it up, it's, it has sort of a weird fit. So basically what I did is that I sort of pulled it tight around myself and put a belt around um, where it would go over my waist, which I, th I think looked pretty cool. And I, actually this sort of doubles as my Renaissance Fair costume as well. But that was the main focus. And then for everything else, I of course did my hair, my girlfriend did my makeup. I wore just a black pair of pants, actually the, one that, the ones that I'm wearing right now. It's pretty normal and then my motorcycle boots. But it can be any boots you want, and they sell boot toppers and stuff at like Spirit. And so this, honestly, this costume was pretty minimal effort, uh, but it still had a pretty effective like look to it, and I really enjoyed that. Uh, this next one is an ongoing project. This is actually what I will wear uh, when I get the chance to go see Rocky Horror Picture Show. This is Eddie's vest. And I don't know if I've shown this off yet. I might have, but uh, it fits the theme of the video. But basically, yeah, I this is another leather vest. Uh, this is actually already was a vest. I didn't have to cut any the sleeves off or anything that I found at one of my local thrift stores. And I, this is just acrylic paint, guys. This is just your typical, like, uh, big-ass bottle of acrylic paint that you get at, like, Walmart uh, in yellow and red. And I am going to do the same thing. I tried to buy fabric so I could sew it on. I might try to do that again, but it didn't work out so well the first time I tried it. So for the collar, he has like a leopard print collar. I'll either paint that or I will sew on the leopard print fabric that I have. If not, I'll find something for it. Uh, <laughs> and uh, this is gonna be part of my, which I think also would be pretty easy considering my wardrobe, my Eddie costume when I go see Rocky Horror Picture Show. I, would, I love Eddie. I love that he has that sort of like he shows up for like five minutes and just totally wins the crowd over. I love that about him. Uh, and I just loved his, his song and all about, you know, everything about his character. And so I really want to be him when I go to see Rocky Horror. And that's that. These next two um, are a little more like convention oriented, but I still intend to wear at least one for Halloween. So let's get to it. This is the one um, I actually meant to talk about it. I'd say in a, like a previous video, but I just never got the chance. Uh, 
And if I have shown this before, forgive me, but I do just want to put this as part of this video because it's just like, I think my most intrepid, like attempt into making my own costumes. For those of you who are not familiar, there's a comic called Flash Year One, and it's sort of the origin story of the Flash. And it talks about his early endeavors in, uh, you know, being the Flash. And his costume in that comic is quite primitive and I love it. It's, qu it's quite like the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man in the first Spider-Man movie where he wears a fucking t-shirt and a hockey mask and that's the Spider-Man costume. And so basically for that, and you can look it up if you want, or I might even be able to find my comic. Uh, he wears a pair of red goggles with yellow, like, uh, trim, I guess. And for this one, this was red and white when I got it. And then I painted, I painted this part yellow. Uh, it's under like 80 shades online. And th these were about, I think 10 bucks. Uh, my mom, who's a teacher, she threw one of her old uh, headphone sets at me and I made the earpieces that he has. Uh, I made these out of EVA foam and then I uh, used E6000 to glue them onto the headphones and I just painted the entire outside yellow. This is black so it, you know, blended pretty well in with my hair. And I actually got uh, compliments on these. I went up to a, a stand to buy some stuff, to buy some art, and this dude, he said like, he was staring at me and he came up to me and he asked, dude, how did you get those to stick to your ears? And then I showed him that it was headphones and he thought he lost it. He thought it was the coolest shit ever. And I, I love uh, these. These are probably the hardest part of the costume to put together. Uh, I spent a long time brainstorming how these would come together, but I'm really proud of how they turned out. Uh, and then for his uh, gloves, I just got a pair of like work gloves and cut the fingers off. And these black parts, I had painted yellow. But when I washed these, the yellow came off. Thankfully, uh, they went through the wash after the convention. So these were still yellow for the convention. Uh, and I might actually, now that they're back to black and red, I might use them for different costumes. Because uh, there's a few others that I want to do. But these are just like work gloves. I get them in like the hardware section of the grocery store, like Walmart or something. Uh, for like three bucks, I think. And just cut the fingers off and they look pretty fucking sick. And then for the main parts, you know, the shirt and pants, I got a red t-shirt from the craft store, made a stencil, and I recreated Barry's t-shirt that he makes for himself in the comic. Uh, with that, the more primitive symbol, there's no white in the center. I could have bought a Flash t-shirt, but it wouldn't have looked as, like, like how it was in the comics. And then this, I had a pair of just, like, regular jeans and I put them through a decolorizing bath and then blue dye. And they became like crazy, like cartoon blue. I don't know if the light can show this as well, but this is just like, I have never seen jeans that are this blue. And it's perfect because it looks a lot more cartoonish. So it looks more like what there was in the comics. I think I might use these for a Jay Garrick cos cosplay someday, uh, the Jay Garrick flash, because he's got sort of similar pants, but I just love how these turned out. Uh, I will be using them for other things. And that was my Flash cosplay. I uh, had a lot of fun going to CharlotteCon as Flash. I love Flash. And I could not, for the life of me, put together the like actual Flash suit that he wears now. So it was really cool that I got to do this. My other uh, convention-oriented costume, and this is not just for conventions. I'm going to wear this for my band shows because it fits and it's cool. And also just for Halloween at some point, just because I just love this character is the Spider-Punk cosplay. I don't know if I've, I might have talked about this too. I know I've mentioned it on social media at least. Uh, for those of you who don't know, on Earth-128 in the Marvel Universe, um, the Bronx, if I'm not mistaken, has these three characters, Captain Anarchy, um, the Hulk, who is sort of different, and then Spider-Punk. And they are the punk rock leaders of the revolution against Osborn, who has become like a dictator president or whatever. And uh, I'm making the Hobart Brown Spider-Man uh, cosplay. And so this is, uh, I think these are all the pieces that I have at the moment. I'm gonna use the pants from the Flash cosplay for this. And then for the shirt, I uh, just did the spider in the center and then I did a very uneven um, web design and then I just tore it all to shit. In the actual uh, comic, he has a spider suit like the other spider people from the different areas of the multiverse. I wanted to make him look more like a street punk, and also this was this is an easier version for me to make. So he's got a t-shirt, jeans, uh, I have a pair of red chucks that I'm going to put on for him. And then the vest is the, sorry, one of my poster just fell. <laughs> uh, 
anything can happen, right? Uh, the vest is sort of the centerpiece. I uh, studded these, the top back panel all to shit. I have the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, uh, you know, New York hardcore patch on the back. Uh, and then on the front, I've actually added more patches since I think the last time I showed this off. Uh, on the shoulders, I've got the red flannel. I've got a couple of buttons. This, there's the like the Spider-Man symbol. There's sit on my face. Harley Quinn because I don't give a fuck about universes. Um, and there's some uh, Medusa and the Misfits, and uh, also Sonic Youth and Elvira on this pocket down here. And then for the patches, on this one I've got Magneto was right, uh, mutant rights, and the Anarchy symbol with spider legs, which I actually came up with that one myself. I thought it was pretty cool, and. Um, yeah, he's got his own vest in the comics, and it's not as patched as this. It doesn't have the, the shoulder patches, I, at least I haven't seen one, and then it doesn't have these patches in the front, it's just got the back and the studs. Like I said, I wanted to make him look a little more street punky, and so I thought that, that those were cool additions to it. I like taking certain liberties when I make character costumes, you know, sort of making them my own. And uh, I am almost done. I've got this, this red hoodie that I think I'm going to wear underneath that. I've got these uh, two, like torn gloves that I made out of um, red uh, tights. And I'm gonna wear like stud bracelets for the web shooters or whatever. Uh, and then I just gotta order a mask. And uh, his mask actually has uh, a spike mohawk. His cowl has a spike mohawk, which is pretty cool. And then that'll be done. And so I'll show an unveiling of that. My costume for this year, cause this is like a pet project that I've been doing. My actual Halloween costume for this year. I'm very excited to announce is punk nightwing and <laughs> yeah i like making punk halloween costumes fucking sue me i got no money um basically my girlfriend and i had this idea uh, of being we we follow this artist on instagram named gabriel piccolo who's also brazilian by the way which i thought was pretty cool he's the one that did those those um uh dc inc comics there's raven beast boy and there's raven loves beast, loves beast boy which is coming out in a couple of days and he posts a lot of his own art he does a lot of Teen Titans art, but also other things on his Instagram. And one that we saw was Batgirl arresting Red X and trying to get a contact uh, with Robin, you know, not realizing that he's right there. And the way that she was dressed, she had like, she had the mask on and she had a pair of yellow docks and she had a yellow flannel tied around her waist and a t-shirt with the Batgirl symbol on it. And that sort of sparked my creativity. And I was like, whoa, what if we do like, um, like casual or punky versions of the superheroes? And she thought that was pretty cool. So the only part of the costume that I have to show off right now, I will be posting um, future updates, but the only part that I can show you right now that is done is the mask. And the reason that I'm showing you this is because I also made this mask myself. I went to Spirit and they had a Nightwing mask there. It was the one that they, it was based off of Nightwing's look in uh, Arkham uh, Knight, I believe, uh, when he had like the, the full, uh, almost full face covering. But the material I didn't really enjoy and I felt like it wouldn't fit as well. So I bought one of those like half face Batman masks that covers from here up to here and has the two like horns and shit. And I just fucking mangled that fucker. I marked it, cut it with an X-Acto. Be careful when you're doing that because it's very dense material. Make sure you're pointing it away because it's going to be slow moving along the like the material. But when you get to the end, it's your hand is going to jolt out. So be careful. But this is my Nightwing mask. Uh, I left these two these two strips here uh, for the elastic. It actually hides pretty well because of my long hair. Uh, the two strips on the sides, you don't see them as much. You just see the front of the mask. I've got like the spikes, sort of like the, you know, on the sides and on the center that he has. And I'm gonna try it on for you guys. And there we have it. That is my Nightwing mask. I love uh, Dick Grayson. He's one of my favorite characters. I love the original Titan series. I love, uh, if you haven't seen Teen Titans, The Judas Contract, which is the movie they made, it's sort of a Teen Titans movie uh, about all the different Titans and the new recruits. Really good. I love him in his comics. I love his story, his character development. He's one of my favorite DC characters, and I just fucking am pumped at how good this mask turned out. And I will be showing you uh, how the costume progresses because I've already got a vest and a t-shirt uh, that I'm going to use. I just got to, you know, paint them up with the Nightwing symbol and some patches. I made a patch that says uh, Red Hood and the Outlaws 
uh, sort of a little nod to his brother Jason. And I'm just fucking pumped to put this costume together. I will, uh, if Tosh is willing, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'm sure she'd love to share her costume as well. We're going to just be working on these um, through October because we're going to a show at the end of October. A little Halloween show. Uh, and we're going in costume, so we're really excited to do that. And that is my display. I hope I, I could help you, give you some ideas, give you some inspiration for your own costumes. Um, like, it's... There's tons of, tons of cool stuff that you could only get at places like Spirit and Party City when they roll out their Halloween stock. But also, don't be afraid to maybe find alternatives if you don't have much access to stores like that. Or maybe you have and you found something like this, you know, like I found this at Spirit, but it was a Batman mask and then I turned it into Nightwing. Maybe you can adapt something. Like, um, I saw this one helmet. It's like a SWAT helmet, but it looks like a classic army helmet. And I want to spray paint it green and turn it into a Tank Girl cosplay, which I think would be awesome. I've got my Harley Quinn uh, costume that's in the works. And that one's being pretty much entirely DIY'd. And so just show your shit off and flex your chops. You know, use your skills as a DIY creator on your Halloween costume if you fucking want to. Because trust me, it may seem daunting because costumes are a different beast. But it's totally worth it. And it's fun. And it's it also it feels more made to you because you didn't buy like some mass-produced costume. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. I hope you're enjoying my series of Halloween videos so far, and I will see you on the fucking flip side. Keep watching them horror movies.